There is nothing wrong with Ario Speedwagon continuing to perform with no original members remaining. This is the Rock and Roll Weatherman. My name is Sean Morrison. Neil Dowdy, um, the keyboardist of Ario Speedwagon, announced his retirement from touring. The band announced his ret retirement from touring on um, January um, 4th of 2023. And of course, um, Ario Speedwagon now performing with no original members live. He's going to still be a, a band member if, if they do any recordings. So that's pretty cool. That's similar with the guy from Maple Wine doing the same thing. You know, now Mr. Martin is getting asked a question where how come how come it's okay for Ario Speedwagon to continue to perform live with no original members when you you think it's not okay for bands like Foreigner to, to do it or a little river band to name a few? Well it's a couple of different things here on that. Let's go with Foreigner. The only original member technically in the band is Mick Jones, but he's hasn't been performing full shows with the band in almost a good 10 plus years. So that's that on that one. And a little river band there there is no original members left in the band. You know, sadly the original members that left on and off over the years don't have the rights to the name of the band anymore. One guy that's been in the band since the 80s got the trademark. But that that's a whole different scenario. I call that a little river scam. Then you got um the guys in autograph still trying to perform without no original members after their um after base Randy Ram passed away. That's an now there's a lawsuit going on over that and hopefully um Randy Rand's widow and um and Steve Lynch win this case and end the end that um auto scam immediately. Then there's um Molly Hatchet performing with no original members. And it's been been for a while now. I think there was one left for a while, but all the original members have passed away. Somebody that's in the band now bought the trademark off of an original member and you know that's the way that's going. You know, there are legalities on how bands are doing this, but some somehow it attracts fans and people will go see these bands when there's no original members on the recording. I mean no mem original members that were on the recordings performing live. If you're not subscribed to the Sean Morrison YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else out there subscribe. Thank you very much for your continued love, honor, and support. It's greatly appreciated. Those that wish to make a small donation to the Sean Morrison YouTube channel kindly can do so via Sean Morrison Enterprises via PayPal. Now getting back to Ario Speedwagon. Why Mr. Morrison feels this is okay to do. And why Mr. Morrison supports it like the majority of every fan is. A couple of things. We, we know that First, Neil's doubt he's retired from touring. He will be there um, doing studio work, of course, when they do it. Maybe make a special guest appearance here or there. You got two important classic lineup members. Kevin Cronin, who joined the band for REO 2, I believe around 71 to 72. Then he returned in 1976 after he left the band for four years. And you got bass player Bruce Hall, who's been with the band since around 77, I believe. Of course, you know him singing that song, Back on the Road Again, which the band still performs live in their set lists today. And of course, um, he sang a few other songs with R.S. Bagum, Speedwagon, including um, Girl with the Heart of Gold, which is off the um, Good Trouble record. And believe me, fans that will go see R.S. Speedwagon are going to rec recognize the voice Kevin Cronin as he's singing on every song they're performing except for Back on the Road Again like Mr. Morrison mentioned. So, you know, because those that say Ario Speedwagon should retire the name 
the few that are out there, it's not going to happen. Band is going to continue for quite some time now. It's not a situation, like I said, with Foreigner or Autograph or um, you know, Quiet Riot, of course, it was just Frankie Benali, and he, and he wasn't even an original member. Quite, He was doing it for a while. I was a little upset about it for a while. Recipes Frankie Finale, you know, I get why he was doing it. When he's a classic lineup member, then he wasn't, then, then when he said he couldn't perform, and then it was no original members. Now you got Rudy Sarzel just in the current Quiet Riot lineup. So, so friends, those that asked the question, sorry for a longer video here. There's nothing wrong at all with Ariel Speedwagon continuing with no original members left in the band. And of course, um, Neil Downey, hope you're going to have a great retirement. Thanks for all the memories. And as JW said, you, you kick ass always, especially on all the changes for that awesome keyboard solo. Sorry, old Speedwagon, going nowhere. Still performing, kicking ass. Shame, shame, shame.